Hello guys, and welcome back to another video. I will make part 2 of the wireframe generator next week, because I haven't done enough this week to make it a video. But anyways, today I will be telling you how to become a god. By this, I mean how you have mastered quantum fluctuations, dark matter and entropy itself, and are able to create entire civilizations and universes with these. First of all, our current technology is way too simple to make many of these steps possible, so you might just have to wait another hundred thousand years until we can have an efficient way of getting huge amounts of energy. But anyways, let's say that you do have a lot of energy. So step one of becoming a god is to connect your consciousness to a supercomputer. This will effectively make you immortal, and allow you to quickly perform actions that might take you longer than usual. Assuming that in the future, technology has allowed for the creation of objects out of seemingly nowhere with some sort of very fast 3D printing technique, you could use this feature to alter space-time with nothing but your mind. Of course, you can't call yourself a god if you aren't even the one with the powers. But sadly, we still have to make this realistic, and biological flesh is just not capable of doing such things. You will have to trash your object creator later, but for now, you can use it to your advantage. Create a massless warp drive, and an extremely powerful ray gun capable of firing rays at physics breaking speeds. Of course, you would have to tell your supercomputer the designs in order for it to work. So in order to achieve that speed, you will first have to create a charged black hole send your consciousness inside because you will obviously die, and then you will end up in another universe because apparently the white holes on the other side love making it easy for us to travel fast. Then, create another black hole, but this time much more powerful, that has the mass of at least three times less than the universe you came to. Make sure you compress all this mass into a single Planck length. Assuming that in your current universe, technology has increased to enter universal travel, you could somehow gather the mass from one of them using some form of extremely powerful charged black hole. Then, make the white hole tiny so that all the matter coming out would collapse into black holes, which would combine together. But anyways, the point of doing all this is to make the universe small and energetic enough for you to efficiently harvest all the energy. Repeat this process many many times. Since your consciousness is the one doing it, you can do it at any speed you want, only limited to the processing speed of the supercomputer it is contained in. Assuming that your ship was 20 meters, and you would fire for one second, then you would need around 3.1402660674E plus 27 gigajoules. This is because if you get 2 to the 140th power of uranium atoms fuse into 2 139, and repeat this process until you end up with an atom of atomic number 10 E plus 42, then decrease the energy level from 7.0710678 E plus 14 to 1, a photon with a wavelength of the Planck length will be emitted. All the fusion would use up 19.6 giga electron volts for a single photon, and since your A gun will be 20 meters in diameter, around 10 E plus 39 photons will have to be emitted per second. If you multiply them together, you will get 3.1402660674000006 E plus 21 gigajoules per second. But anyways, bring your 3 million yacht watt battery and your A gun onto your massless warp drive, then go all the way to the edge of the universe. This shouldn't take too long, because though your warp drive is small, it is still massless so it will go extremely fast. Then, set your speed to exactly 3x the speed of light to keep up with the universe's expansion, then fire your gun into the three-dimensional brain surrounding our universe, the tiny wavelength of the photons would break physics itself, and would probably be able to tear a hole through the brain. Once the hole has been made, drive your way through, but proceed with caution, because you have just entered pure nothingness. 
Since you are no longer restricted to the 3D brain, there are an unlimited number of dimensions you can now go in. Well, since I like to keep my videos short, I will have to make a part 2 yet again. In the next part, I will explain how you can control space-time, entropy, and fluctuations outside the brain. See you there.